Good afternoon. It's 52 Tax Handmade time again. Week 51. Good grief. Um, yeah, to do a wreath this time. So, anyway, I, I'm going to go slightly alternative. I'm going to do a eucalyptus, well, hopefully, uh, a eucalyptus wreath. Sorry, let me just get my chair sorted. I've kind of roughed out what I want to do. Um, so, hopefully... If it looks anything like this, I'll be surprised. But chain stitch, pistol stitch, bit of fly stitch. I've got some little tiny little red beads. I've got a really nice green bow, which might be a bit big, but we'll give it a go. Um, and I've threaded all my needles at the side here. I don't know if you can see those. Um, yeah, that's about it, really. So let's say, yeah, lazy or oh, lazy daisy on the end of the fly stitch. I'll see what that looks like. It might look pants. So. Um, Anyway, let's get going. So, um, circle. Oh, we all do. Yeah, forgot about that bit. Yeah, so um, Anne's instructions were to just draw a circle and go from there. So, washi tape, you will do. Uh, should be big enough. I think Anne did say, yeah, she did. She said she went too big with hers. So, because um, it went off the edge of the page, didn't it? Off the edge of the tag, rather. So, I've done the usual. I've cut my fabric and my tag all at the same time with my Sizzix die and this is a piece of vintage I don't know I don't know what it feels linen linen like but it might not be I don't know it's fabric it'll do right okay so let's start with the chain stitch let's get the circle done and then we can work on top of that so I think I haven't quite got the right green. I'm hoping it is going to look eucalyptusy. It should be more blue than that, but I haven't quite got that because that's mm, yeah. Okay, let's just do this. So uh, chain stitch. Right. I hope everybody is well. It's uh, I've been. It's been a bit of a knackering week for me, quite frankly, so I'm absolutely exhausted. My, my youngest daughter moved house and um, I've been helping her do the clear out of her rented property, and which I won't be moving into. Because when you clean a property, you realise just how bad it is. So, um, yeah, I said to her, this place is... It needs an awful lot of refurbishment and she said yeah totally agree so um, good luck to them renting it they will they will rent it because rental property in this village is very hard to come by so yeah they will but some poor sausage will end up with a really naff property quite frankly <laughs> so chain stitch looks an awful lot like lazy daisy but you don't do the little with a lazy daisy, you see, you would finish it off there. Am I in screen? Sorry. Yeah, you'd finish it off there. Um, but uh, what am I doing? Yeah, I need did it then. Uh, but with the chain stitch, you just come back again, and under there, like so. I'll just do this. My daughter chooses this right moment to ring me. <laughs> Luckily, it doesn't cut out. I did press record, didn't I? Yeah. Uh, she's trying again. <sighs> Kids. I've been trying to ring her. I tried to ring her all day yesterday. She's got a bit of a dodgy phone. And um, I just messaged her on Facebook and said, give me a ring when you get a minute. And of course, now, as soon as I start recording, she's decided to try and ring me. I daren't answer it because it will cut out the video and I don't want to have to start again. <laughs> so I will call her back when I'm done, which hopefully won't be too long. So yeah, one more tag after this. It'd be interesting to see what we're going to do, actually. Because that'll be next Friday, which is Christmas Eve. So don't quite know what she's got planned for this 
I had a quick look on Pinterest for the shape of a eucalyptus and they are kind of a roundy colour but as I say it's not quite the right green but I'm hoping it will look something like eucalyptus. I didn't want to go traditional colours. Um, it's a, I don't know what sort of thread it is actually. I don't know, it's probably a DMC or something. I've got a ton of those cards made up and um, quite a lot I sort of find out and about. So they haven't got the numbers written on them so I can't tell you what green I'm using. Or it could be a suitcase yarn one, I don't know. It doesn't really matter. It's a palish, bluey, greenish colour. Been for a nice walk up on the like a reservoir up on Dartmoor, which um, I put a little video up. It wasn't very long. Um, it feeds our rain, um, our water supply here, and um, it was so foggy. It's usually a picture up there because it's got a lot of um, deciduous trees and evergreens and you know all sorts of mingled woodland, and it would be a picture, but. You couldn't see a blooming thing. It was so foggy. So I'm going to leave a little gap there because I am going to put that bow. Come on, behave. In there. So it doesn't matter if it's slightly... It's got a slight gap. Well, it doesn't really, but... It doesn't have a gap. Well done, Susan. Right, so I'll just finish that off there. Needle minder. Because <laughs> I keep finding them stuck in here <laughs> and everywhere around the house. Okay, right, that kind of looks wreath like, and I'm thinking the bow down the bottom there. Yep, looking good so far. We'll put that on later. Um, let's do the fly stitch next. I've got a really thin, silky one. I don't know. Might have been a Steph Francis this, but I can't remember, I'll be honest with you, but it's nice and sort of shiny. Um so I don't know, just gonna just gonna do stuff. I don't really have a plan apart from a very sketchy drawing. That is not how you do fly stitch, Susan, but we'll blag it. I should have come out first. <sighs> okay. we'll, we'll pretend that I did that that way. There's some on the inside as well. I fed the cat, so hopefully we won't get invaded. Um, what am I doing? It needs to go there. I think I'm doing that completely cack handed. Yep. Oh, I'm having a brain seizure. There. Right, I'm just going to kind of bodge this. It's not how you do fly stitch, okay? I'm just telling you now. Before the fly stitch police get me. Yeah, that is completely wrong, Susan. Oh well. Right, we'll just keep going. I just want bits sticking out, basically. I'm not really... Oh, 
I'll get it as soon as I finish. I'll remember how to do it properly. We'll make it look like fly stitch that day. It's good enough. Right, so if I go right, hang on, let me concentrate. I'm not going to do it, is it? No. The V stitch. <laughs> Don't watch this bit. <laughs> it, it's not fly stitch, it's just me making up things as I go along. What am I doing wrong? So if I come out here and there, am I starting it wrong? I think that's the problem, isn't it? Ah, I think that's it. That feels better. Yeah, that feels better. Right, let's write that properly. one of the easiest stitches come on come on I think Rachel's book will do me the world of good I will um, get lots of practice in oh, I've done it wrong again let's do a couple of um Not very thick this thread I don't think it'll show up much a couple of uh, French knots oh, it's very very silky I'm gonna end that there because I want to get on with the other colors and we can always do more So, I'm just slurping my tea, sorry. Um, got this one on there, which is a DMC colour 524. It's an 8 weight, which is more of a eucalyptus y colour. Um, so, what I might do is just. And sort of wrap around, what do you reckon? Does that make it look more eucalyptus -y or not? Not really, does it? Right, what I might do then is just simply. It doesn't want to come out now. Come on. Am 
might just fill that in. Very simple back stitch. Nope. No. Just bulking out the, the stitch a bit more really if you can see that it's just just filling in it's making it look more substantial shall we say and less holy holy rather not holy you knew what I meant Started. It's all good. Yeah, I think that's much better. It kind of looks eucalyptus -y, but I'm not 100% certain. I think what I'm going to do is um, drop down some lazy daisies. That might help. And then fill that as well. close to the edge of the fabric there so it's got to be a bit careful screen sorry the lighting's terrible today it's uh, it's another one of those weird days here where it's not quite no there's no sun at all zero sunshine I'm just going to keep this running. I hope you're okay with that. I'm not going to pause. I know some people don't mind, so put me all fast forward if I'm boring you to tears. So I'm just making the lazy daisy and then just going back with a simple, hopefully, look a bit more. Oh, that's better. Yeah, it's looking much better. Right. I shall carry on with that. It's looking less um, stiff, is the only way I can describe it. I'm going to need some more thread. Just 
Let's finish that one off. It's perfect eucalyptus colour actually. I don't know why I didn't do the um, main bit in that, but never mind. Never mind. Of course, there's always one that doesn't want to behave, isn't there? Of course. Yeah, well, that'll be fine. Because my fabric's fraying. No, don't film the knot. Very close to the edge there. More. I'm liking that a lot better. I think that looks a lot more, more like a wreath as opposed to just a circle of chain stitch, so which is kind of what I wanted. Oh, yes, much better. Could do one over here, can't we? Maybe one here. I'm 
in there. See, I can't really get one in there. It's too close to the edge of the fabric and I'm worried I'm going to shred it even more. It's a very um, it's a very loose weave. It just sort of comes undone at the drop of a hat, as you can see here. Probably the wrong fabric to use. Oh, go in, thank you. I'm all right with that actually. I might do some just a couple more down here. Don't really want to drag it that far. Let's weave down there, sneak down. Really want to try and get one over here. It's very empty on this side. So just play it carefully. If I kind of go up a bit. It's like a little bit more balanced, isn't it? Yeah, that's cool. I really like that. Good, right, okay. Uh, I'm thinking of just some pistol stitches to in white I was going to go. And then um, I think I'll put the beads on. I think that would be enough, actually. Because by the time the bow goes in there, so... Thinking some, maybe just some pistol stitches in the middle there, just to fill in the middle, and then a couple of little. Does it need them? Yeah, it just needs a little bit of colour, doesn't it? We've got a little few there. Right, so I'm going to do some. Yeah, let's do that. I've kept all six strands of this one on. That might be a bit thick, but I want them to be um, substantial. So let's just do those in here. Let's stay in this green now. <laughs> a bit paranoid. It is really thick, so I'm not going to go to. Um, how big do I want to go? Let's go to about there. Let's rewrap. Oh, really? Three wraps should be enough. Now come on, behave. Oh, good grief. Okay, we're going to have to start that one again. I completely spammed that one up. by not holding on tight enough. Try again. <laughs> if it 
first you don't succeed, cut it out and do it again. Right. In there. A conspiracy will you behave God, it really doesn't want to what is going on I'm getting antsy. Come on. Don't make me shout at you. It's just rather thick. <laughs> right, two. I did one more long one. Whoops, not that tight. Naughty bully and knots, what are you doing? Uh, bully on knots, pistol stitch. Naughty. Right. I think it's because I was trying to do a really, really long. It's my fault, it's not, but that's just. Just one little one there and I think that's enough. This is going to cover up some of the stitches but it happens. What I might do is scoot under there and under there and then finish it off. So I'll make it look like it's in the background. The bow can go there. I think just a few little bees. I don't know how long I've been going. I'm so sorry if it's really going on, but I might as well take it to the end now. Right, so I've got a beading needle threaded with just some machine um, thread, basically. So, uh, uh, sorry, machine thread. So, just going to put some little pops of colour in. Just to make it look a little bit more Christmassy. Although, you know, it doesn't have to be. Sorry, probably dragged it off screen there. Pardon me.
I don't know what beads these are. I just um, I got lots of boxes of odds and sods. So um, let's see if we start another one about there. Yeah, then it's out of that. I'm trying to get through boxes like that of just bits and bobs. You know what I mean? It's just you sort of do a project and then you just chuck it all in a box and um, or a tub, and and it's just sitting there and trying to get through a lot of those and um, either make something out of them or make the decision to bundle them up and get rid I usually put them up on Facebook you know bits of fabric and stuff I just put it out there for free I'd rather it went to a a good home than um, just in the bin so and they're snapped up basically and the same with beads I do sort of um, bead soup mixtures as they're called and um, either put them up for free or just very you know just postage cost really so because it all gets a bit too much otherwise doesn't it and you end up getting really antsy with it and you think oh no chuck it away but actually that's just very wasteful so not going to do that have we got enough well they're sat here so we might as well use them Go here and do a double. Come here. Stay still. Okay. And we stitch the bow on and then we're done and it's nothing like what I drew is it I knew it wouldn't be but I just needed to give myself the the um, the inspiration to have a go kind of kind of keep me on track a bit but which failed completely but you know there it is where did you go well, you're on the needle too keen Have we got enough? Yep. Yeah. I like that. I might just... I've got really thin... Sorry, I'm probably... This is really going on this video, isn't it? What I'm going to do is leave that there. I've got a really thin green here. So I might do... I just feel these are a little bit too white and chunky. So, I might just try sort of this, let's have a look, see what that looks like. No, I'm not going to take it out, so you're just going to have to work around it. Thank you. Right, I'm going to stop because I think it's getting too much now. So, right, okay. 
mess on the back, honestly. Such a messy person. Right. Let's get my little bow sewed on. Sewn on. Sewed. I think that's the right side. Yep. Yeah. just a bow that I had in my stash they were pre-made actually um I don't know where I've got them from oh, but it was the only one that matched color wise so I think that's all it needs. Put a couple of stitches under there. Keep still. Try and get the underneath bit. Just to hold that down a little bit. And the same this side. And that will do. Oop. It's done. I'll give you a close up in a sec. Right, let me get it stuck on the thing and I'll give you a close up and um Oh, we'll put it in the book. Oh, it's truth. I haven't used this for a while. <laughs> I haven't done any paper crafting for ages, actually. So, which is not like me. I like that. An alternative Christmas wreath. It's just eucalyptus-y. Right, let me give you a close-up and then I'll put it in the book and then we are done. Okay, so sorry the lighting's a bit weird but yeah, I like that and I wish I'd have used that that one because that is more eucalyptus-y but um, there we are. Hope you like that. So, you can fabric fraying like mad on the side there. Let's get it in the book of the book of book. Nearly there. Gosh. Amazing how quickly the time has flown actually. It just doesn't seem that long ago that we started this. But obviously it is. I don't put it through the big hole because it doesn't um, doesn't look right, basically. That there, put the Velcro dot on, and then it's good to go till next week, and I can that be it. Might do a final flick through. Let me know if that's interesting to you, actually, and you can. You never know, is it all the ones I did then? Mind you, if you've watched them anyway, you know what I did. So. Right. There we are. Right, to so its new home. There forevermore. Week 51, a reef. And I've gone eucalyptus -y. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.